Today I want to talk about the Avatar HD VRX module. Last week I released my review of this module and missed one specific subject and that was power consumption. Since releasing the video I've had a lot of questions about what the power drawer is actually like when using it with the likes of the HD Zero goggles as well as other goggles such as the Skyzone 4 xs So what we're going to do today is take a quick look at what the actual power consumption is of the VRX module on its own. We'll then take a look at it with the HD Zeros and the Skyzones and hopefully by the end you'll have an idea of what sort of battery size you're going to want to be able to power this when out in the field. Now, if you're interested in seeing that review where I do cover an awful lot, including tearing down the module, I will put a link to it in the description as well. Anyway, let's get on with it and let's take a look at some of the tests that we need to do. Okay, so what we're going to do is measure the current draw of the VRX module and the HD Zero goggles, but then just the VRX module on its own. Now to do this, I've already done some settings to make sure that we're going to have the most draw we can possibly get. So low power mode is turned off and it is set to the maximum RF power as well. And we're going to measure it with our quad, which is just up here. You can't see it connected. That way we know everything is transmitting, it's receiving, and it's going to be using the most power it can possibly use. We're going to use a fully charged 4S LiPo for powering this. It's currently at 4.18 volts per cell, basically fully charged or 16.74. And I'm going to use that as the voltage reference for calculating our watt usage, which we'll take a look at in a minute. And then I've got me EV blog multimeter here in the middle, which is going to show what the current draw actually is. So what I'll do is power everything up. We're going to turn on our HD Zero goggles as well. And then I'm just going to look and check that we do have the image showing on the displays, everything connected as we would expect, and make sure those settings on the module are correct as well to give us that baseline for that full current usage. So let me just wait for it all to boot and then go into the menu and try and select the HDMI input. It takes a second for that to show. It's sometimes better, I found in the HD Zero goggles, to unplug and plug it in so it shows it's detected. There we go. The image has now come up on the screen. And I'm just now going to go into the menu and make sure that we have the settings correct. So we're on full RF power and standby mode is off. So brilliant. So that then is our full power consumption of our HD Zero goggles with our HD VRX module from Avatar and we're looking about 0.95 of an amp at a voltage of 16.64 and if we do the math on that so if we just go back so 16.64 and we're going to say 0.96 and that is going to give us a total power consumption of about 16 watts at this moment in time. So that is 16 watts with the HD Zero goggles and the VRX module, or basically just about one amp. If we now turn off the HD Zero goggles, so we're just going to shut them down, that will give us the power consumption of the VRX module on its own. So again, we can then look at the rating, so 16.64 or 63, and we're now drawing about 460 milliamp. If we say 470 as a good baseline, that way that will give us the best possible idea. And we're talking about 7 watts, about 8 watts actually, 7.8 watts of consumption from just the VRX module. That is it fully transmitting on full RF power. So with a combination, you're going to be looking about one amp of power draw on this setup. Now, just to demo this on the Skyzone O4Xs, you can see that there's a much lower power draw on the O4Xs than there is the likes of the HD Zero, and they're drawing about 700 milliamp, or that's coming out at about 12 watts, 11.5, 12 watts of power on this setup compared to about 15 watts on HD Zero. Okay, so just to summarize, you're seeing about seven watts of power consumption on the VRX module when in use on its own. You're talking about 16 watts 
with the HD Zero goggles, and that then drops down to around 12 watts with the Skyzone 4 xs Just to give you an idea battery consumption wise, depending on the voltage. So on a 3S battery on the HD Zero goggles, you're talking about 1.3 amp. On 4S, we're talking about one amp, 0.96 but one amp is probably a safe place to be and then on 5s you're talking about 800 milliamp hour so you're obviously going to need to size your battery based on those numbers you're going to need a three or a four amp pack minimum really to have a good amount of flight time on this setup especially with the hd zero goggles out in the field but if you base it on seven watts on the vrx module or 16 watts with the hd zero goggles that'll give you a good idea no matter what voltage you go with and you can simply do the calculations then yourself now as i mentioned there is a link in the description to my review if you're interested in checking it out where i do cover a lot i just missed that unfortunately as part of it if you have found this video interesting please do consider supporting the channel via the links to my patreon it's only through the support of my patrons am i able to keep making content like this on the channel and if you'd like to support us to keep making content like this in the future please do consider checking it out i want to say a massive thank you to all of my patrons i would not be able to do this without the support you have given so again a massive thank you from me anyway that's it on this one if you have any questions please do put them in the comment section and i will try and answer them stay safe and i will speak to you soon